But this is from a grill pack you picked up at Fresh and Easy. We've all, yeah, we've, Monty was very grateful to it because she had my leftovers after I made my mess. <laughs> You're going, huh? <laughs> well, this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be making barbecue in the microwave, but one of the things that often probably happens to you is this is all the barbecue sauce we have. So how do you extend your barbecue sauce so it goes further so you have enough? Yeah, we're going to make our own. We're going to add a little bit of wine flavoring. Our wine is down another two inches yeah. from what it was the so other day. So we have so. wine. What else do we have? Oh. Don't drop it. Worcester sauce. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going to get steak sauce. We could use steak sauce. Well, and balsamic vinegar. We, we also do have steak sauce, too. I have steak sauce said fish. Um, no, we also have a steak I sauce. I know, but that's that's Worcester. That's okay, what she well, used. Okay, good. And we, got, and we have some uh, brown sugar stuff to go in it too. Yes, and this is my favorite. This is I we actually buy this and save it just for cooking. This is Trader Vic's famous hot buttered rum batter, which yeah, we, we, we buy everything that we can get our hands on when they sell them. So and we, we it, it goes into everything. But this yeah, is this is uh, barbecue seasoned grill pack right here. So and it's already, it's already seasoned. Yeah, it's already seasoned, but we don't have any barbecue sauce on it. Oh, that's a word. It's seasoned for cooking, but it's not, so now we just gotta make up our stuff. Okay, so I'm presuming that the barbecue sauce gets All gonna dump here. it into there. Okay. Or can we just pour this stuff in here and shake it? Well, you can. We can't. Oh, I'll put I'll pour this in here first, okay. I think though you know, we, we, I intend to clean it out that way, but that's gonna be our cleaner, but we wanna clean it out so we're not basically <laughs> it's thicker than everything else. Yeah, this is a sauce, it's Wardell's Gourmet Barbecue Sauce. This is a, a three-generation recipe, three-generations yeah. family. And, oh, what was a good part on this one? Uh, um, it, it, I think it was free. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> I know. Yes, it was free. I would just shake that one But up. the other part about it is, is uh, it's, you know, it's one of those ancient family generational yeah, we shake it all up and then we dump it in. We're going to clean this thing out one way or the other, folks. Now we put some balsamic vinegar in it and clean it. And people said, you put balsamic, you know, you always put vinegar in barbecue sauce. People don't realize that, but vinegar goes into barbecue sauce, as does beer will go into barbecue sauce. As you're seeing me, I'm putting these, these liquids that are more liquid than the barbecue sauce yeah. in here. Because there's another thing in Cal Southern California, you gotta you gotta, you gotta wash gotta clean them out anyway, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna clean out and get out all of this sauce that we can. Yeah. Because what we can't get out, we will just lose. So, but I think we're getting a good job. Now we'll put your wine in it. Oh. Yeah. Like I keep saying, our wine is vanishing on us. It is not like not like there is not another bottle of wine. So, oh, that's, you know, but you have to understand that, you know, that the wine is being, has been used at, um, at Magic Mike parties lately, so. When, uh, when their wine ran out, you know what you do at a Magic Mike party? What? You sit around with good wine and good cheese and talk about, you know, uh, the dance sequences that people do. Hey, See? that did it, didn't and it? And now look at that with the wine. We cleaned it all out. Now we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna, Actually, I had got the, the sugar out first, but... Oh, the sugar would have been good to get out before. Oh, yeah. because I'm sitting there thinking, of course, mix it. I forgot. Yeah, we had that to go. Because it, you know, basically it is, it's, it's, it basically this is really a rum sugar, rum mix. Okay. Most people don't realize that rum actually comes from brown sugar. Or, yeah, so they, they go, now you just mix it in, now we're going to stir it all up. So, gonna make a nice little thing. Then we'll just pour it on top of our, all over our batter, and then we'll. Oh, this is gonna smell good. It should be great. Oh, yes. And that way, you notice that we did clean up our, our, our container. Yep. Yeah. 
and we made enough to cover our. That is a that what I don't know how many pounds of stuff I originally had in that, but there was a lot. I don't know. I'm surprised you have this much left. It because I discovered I, I I cooked it in my microwave without a container, and I made a mess of my microwave. Oh. So and I decided that was not a good idea. Actually, we're even gonna have barbecue sauce left over. No. We aren't. No. Oh, just dump it all in there? You're going to dump it all over. Oh, okay. That's why I was wondering what you were doing. I know, because I'm like, you don't need all that. Okay, we're going to like let it swim in the barbecue sauce. It's got to cook in barbecue sauce. Oh. Yeah, you got to let it boil. No, we just put the... I mean, it really is, it is like... Yeah, it's good, because we're going we're gonna to be really barbecued. Then so we're going to just put the lid on it. Slightly askew so it basically won't blow off. It will be askew when it goes in there. I'm just doing this so I won't I drop it over there. Yep. Okay. So then we'll make it slightly askew after we Cook it there. for five minutes on high. Okay. Could we after, after that we're going to have to turn it all over. Okay. Okay. And here's the trick about it. You really don't have to throw that barbecue sauce away. You can basically... Um, Use it and then put it back, put in, it the, back in there the again. Put it back in there again. We just cleaned out. Yeah, and it's got to be a great barbecue set. Now we're going to get, we're going to make, we're going to do a potato salad next. Isn't that something? Oh, oh yeah, it's going to be right. Oh. Yeah. I'm actually going to let her, I'm going to let her cut onions. We're going to have to basically onions. dump the okay. water out. Let's dump this water out and get a container. We're going to just use the same water. container. Oh, we are? Yeah. We're just going to put mix it all together. Uh, actually, I have the container. It's called the um, the uh, we're emptying out the mayonnaise container. So, yeah, emptying the mayonnaise container out because we're trying. We we've been told that there's too much junk in the ice box. I'm always told there's too much stuff in the ice box. I know, even because after it's not ice box. The part of it is, I like to have food in the ice box so I have a choice as to what oh, I'm going to eat. family member uh, others, others think that there's too much food in the microwave, and when they do that, they clean it out. Too and then they complain the yeah, then that they there's no food in the microwave. No, I mean, excuse me, no food in the refrigerator. Okay. okay. Now we're just going to take our, we're going to get all of this junk that's in our way out of the way. Yeah, I know. We're actually we've got plenty of time to do this today. They're making ingredients. All of the ingredients are going to go into well, actually, the onion and other stuff. I actually, we washed here's a good one. Wash if you're going to have beets, wash the beets off to get the redness out of it before you put it into the potato the salad. salad. Yeah. Okay. Now we're just going to chop up some. This just the top. Are we people. just chopping off the edge? You chop off the edge, people. That's all you do with this stuff is you start from the top and go backwards. And then we got to clean it. Yeah, I think there was a knife over there somewhere. It's on the other side of the grill pack. Oh. Yes, there is. It's on the other side of the grill oh, pack. Oh, over but, here? Yeah. Everything could, the cookbook I is couldn't setting see there. I it. Okay, but here's part of it is. All you got to do is just. Cut, cut, cut the end off a little bit. Just shave it. I know. See, we're really trusting her not to cut great big chunks off. So, which she did. I can see it. From those over. are not big chunks. Those yeah, are those, those are. Those big, are little. Those are no. Those are big chunks. Those are little. I can see it from. I, I'm I'm 20 foot away. That's enough. Oh. Yeah. I, I knew that I was wrong in doing that. Those are no, me. those are great big chunks. Some of those things you got to be a quarter inch thick. Okay, this needs to be cleaned. The other stuff just No, clean. it's already clean. The whole thing is oh, clean. Oh, it's already clean? The whole thing oh, is clean. Oh, thank you. The whole See. thing is washed off. See, I did not realize I that. Okay, yeah. so I actually have... Then we just okay, use the bag and chop and dump it in on top of the potatoes. What it happened to the bag chop? chop. Yeah, it actually it was clean when we started this up. I know. <laughs> now we're going to take our onion and chop it up. I'm curious, how big will the onion pieces be? Big. We know that, so. Okay, now. Yeah. I knew she was going to do that. 
that she was going to make them that off was too big. Yeah, well, I know. So if, if you start off with smaller pieces to begin with, they're good shape. So, you know, I, I'm all, I, I know better, folks. I actually do. After five years, I know better. But I, you know how it is? You have this hope. Hope springs eternal. <laughs> That I know better. Getting ready for. I have no apologies. But we're four years yeah, no. moving towards our fifth anniversary of this show. We're doing. Oh gosh, that. has it been that long? Yeah. We're doing. And remember the first thing when, and, and actually, in, uh, actually, we're four and a half years in or something. First show was a Mother's Day show, which is set the tone for her wearing a swimsuit. The suit is not to get attention, it's just you had to see how terrified she was of ruining the clothes. And then we put an apron on her, and guess what happened to the apron? Mm -hmm. You know, apron got messy. So now we just we'll dump it. We'll, we'll dump that over in the thing. Now we're gonna get, get a something, we'll take, you know, probably take the lid off first and then put the lid sideways somewhere and then what? we got to turn the meat over oh okay yeah because remember the thing about microwaves folks that we don't understand is that they do not cook evenly and i should have taken it all out so just yeah but it. i would take the lid off first so you don't drop it i take the lid off over here i know she it is cooking nicely i can see it oh it smells oh it smells really good and you don't throw this sauce away because you can use it for something else. Like for instance, you were going to make uh, a meatloaf. Totally seasoned. Yeah, this was seasoned both sides to start with with uh, with barbecue seasoning, which I actually don't know what it is, but it really tasted good. So I, I defer to the people at Fresh and Easy who put grill packs on sale, and when they put grill packs on oh, sale, these are we go buy grill packs and then we put them in the freezer. If they actually, one of the grill packs never makes it to the freezer. So now she's going to do it again for another five minutes. And this column, you know, it's really coming along. Because it will blow the top off. If you don't put a lid on it, it will throw this stuff, which is why I'm doing it here instead of my microwave because they don't have a microwave container anymore. But now we're going to go put some. Um, our relish in, which is, you know, which I didn't open beforehand. Ah, she did it. Actually, I did open it beforehand. I'm getting okay. old. I forgot. So, there. okay. Be... Only because I have to clean the foreman's foot, which if I had a thing of hot water, I would just do. Yeah. Get horseradish. Now, see, that goes, no, that goes into our mayonnaise container now. All our liquid's going into our mayonnaise container because that's all the mayonnaise we have. Oh. We're going to just mix it up in there, everything. So I know what you do is you, you keep the lid on it, push it down, and then, you know, oh, I know, but if you go like that with the lid on it, go up and down with the lid, no, hold it upside down with oh. the lid on it, and then you can, it's down at the bottom. You want to put more in here? Huh? I think there's enough for some. Okay. okay. Now I'm just trying to show you how you could do it. But if you always hold it down when you shake it, it will always come to the bottom. I know it's sort of a funny thing to think of it that way, but that's how you get it to the bottom. Which wasn't that great yet, so. Now we got that one, we didn't dump what's left of that one in it. <laughs> We're really emptying some stuff. And now this is ranch dressing. Now this, we're going to just use it for, there's a little bit of barbecue sauce on there. Don't worry okay. because you can, we got some uh, beets that are going to put in it anyway, yeah, so it's okay. going to be a little bit. The idea is just to clean out some of what we got and that's another thing. If there's nothing left in it, we actually will, we'll make people happier uh, by getting rid of two more containers in there. Of course it means we have to replace them from the, from the shelf. Uh, now we can just dump all of it. We got 
you know, we got our uh, what's left of beach. We chopped the beach up and put the beach in. They've already been washed off, so there's no red in it. So, you're gonna, so that's the whole trick is you want to get. Uh, we don't need them. Um, we don't need that red to go in there. If we were going to put the wine in, we'd put the red on it. So. Yeah, because it wouldn't make any difference. Yeah, but since we don't. I like beets. Yeah. We should get beets more often. I know. You know, we, we, she likes beets to the point the other day. I only had, after we got done cooking, I only had what you see there left, and only about five beets went into what we were cooking. <laughs> I know. I mean, we're talking half a can was eight well paper. You you can see it on camera as the beats, the beats are going down. So, yeah, you dump that all in. Probably if you put it over that. I know if I put it on the cooking board, it wouldn't make a mess. Anybody have this? She grumps at me about putting everything far away and then going to cook stuff. Well, because I have stuff all over this board. I know, but you could put it into the back side of the board. Or actually, here's now a good one. No, the board's dirty. I know. And then I get the bottom of it all dirty. Who cares? You could actually, what you could have done was taken everything off the board and taken the dirty one off. I could just take the board off. They take it, take the plastic off of it. There, we'll do that. I know, you could dump it in the sink. Well. <laughs> I know. So. Okay. Right? Yeah, just dump it all in. See, this is what happens. Is I, I have my idea of how we're going to do things. Yeah, and then. Based on what's here. And we're going to stir it together, and then when the. Um, and he has to. When the. Uh, when the, the our, our, our pork barbecue pork comes out, we're going to put it in the oven and warm it for about a minute. Think? Isn't it neat? Mm -hmm. We clean out some things. I'm gonna have fun trying to pour that stuff into that little container, but you know the end of the the old thing container. See now, really good, folks. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah, smells good. This looks, looks good. really, really good. And it will be a. Warm. I like the beets in here because it gives it just a little bit of color. Yep. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm making a good guess that our barbecue is done. So it smells really good. Yeah. And see this right here is, is kind of get is one absolutely wonderful. In fact, if I had more potatoes, I'd be perfectly fine. I know, but that's what I had. But this is what we have. But this is magnificent. It smells. Now wonderful. you pull out your beef, and it should be done. I mean, your your pork, and it should be done. I'm gambling because I know how long it takes to cook and I've already done it. And not with the sauce. Actually, I did it with sauce my own. But I'm okay. Now we just clean all of that stuff off and get it played out. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, yeah. Let me get the plate out first. Yep. Oh, wait, maybe I should do the other one. I know. So. Okay. We're going to clean this off. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff. That are there. You usually don't have as much stuff to clean up. Well, no, but I'm, I'm throwing away some of this stuff that you got in front of you, so. That's part of it. You're cleaning it out. And since we don't have, we didn't have enough of one to use, we need to essentially take uh, what we had. So I'm going to put this thing. Here we go. Look at this. I know. But you see, we cleaned up. It's real good, folks. We, we can tell you there was a, when I brought the grill pack in this morning, I was loved by the chair dog much. <laughs> Let's just say, he received more love by the chair dog today than he has, I think, ever. <laughs> well, generally she tries to do whatever she can to break my bones by running me into things. Today, she kisses, was kisses, kisses, slurpy kisses, kisses. She gives the mallet. Kisses, 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 kisses. Oh, God. I mean, she kept washing I my mean, face. I mean, what was it, like for 10 minutes or something? Yeah. I mean, it was, and I'm not exaggerating either. It's like. Just nothing with slurpy kisses from the chair dog. I know. I mean, it is really good barbecue stuff. 
but now I'm sitting there going, okay, we make that one for the picture. Oh, this is really good. Yeah. I know, it is, I've had it and it is unbelievable, there's no bone, though there might be some bone that's just boneless, I mean they absolutely bone the ribs. So when you were paying for like the, the poundage you paid for, you were getting there's not much fat and just little tiny bone every now and then, so, but it is, It's God. really good. Mm -hmm. And then we create our own barbecue sauce. Mm. You have to eat more to make certain it's all right. For I you have guys. to, you know. I know it may not be fit to eat for anybody else. So that was a real great pain. Mm -hmm. zoom by the camera. And I saw that on the monitor. You fired. Wait, what? You know, you're absolutely right. This is not fit for anybody else to eat. Yeah, mm -hmm. this you and the chair dog. But she doesn't. She has a to. Nice have, warm potato salad. Yep. And barbecue ribs. This is barbecue done in the microwave with the sauce. And it's not dry. And it's not what they they say you can't do this in a barbecue. Mm. Yes, you can. Mm. And you basically got great barbecued ribs because it is just seeped in the sauce. She always is amazed by the cooking. <laughs> okay, I guess I will have to say this so they can eat too. <laughs> but bon appetit. Enjoy barbecue in the microwave. This is barbecue, this is barbecue pork mm -hmm. and potato salad. 